Ever felt sleepy here? You know, it's like, man, I'm getting tired. I got I to take a couple minute nap here somewhere or something, you know. If you make your living behind the wheel, driver fatigue is inevitable. Finding a safe place to stop and rest is vital for your safety and that of other motorists. First of all, it's not just a parking, it's where you park also, because the quality of sleep is also a primary concern. You don't want to be parking on the side of the highway, be unsafe for yourself, and be unsafe for other motors on the road. The Michigan Department of Transportation is partnering with a number of public and private agencies to address this problem along the busiest truck corridor in Michigan, and one of the busiest in the Midwest. I-94 from the Indiana-Michigan state line to east of the I-69 interchange has been equipped with a system that will detect where spaces are available for trucks and send that information to drivers and dispatchers. Five rest areas and 10 private truck stops are participating in the project. That accounts for more than 1,100 spaces. We're able to actually detect when a truck enters the parking area and then also when they exit the parking area. From that, we can determine the availability or number of truck parking spaces. That information can then be found in several places. First, alongside the road, you will see these dynamic truck parking signs placed along the corridor, letting drivers know what is available at the next three parking locations participating in the program and equipped with the sensors. The information will also be posted to the MyDrive website and at truckSmartParkingServices.com so dispatchers can safely relay the information to drivers. Some vehicles will be equipped with connected vehicle technology. They will be able to see the spaces available and if that number has recently been trending up or down. And finally, an app is being developed for both Android and iOS smartphones that will send audible messages to subscribers about space availability. What we feel is that there's actually enough available parking within the 94 corridor. It's just a matter of being able to provide that information to the truckers. During a three-year study, 16 crashes in this 115-mile stretch were directly linked to driver fatigue. Another eight were caused by trucks parked on shoulders and other unsafe areas. Fatigue was also thought to be a factor in another 41 crashes. That's 65 crashes that may have been prevented if drivers knew where to find a safe place to stop. The truckers unfortunately have to make unsafe parking decisions, whether that be on entrance or exit ramps or on the shoulder of the freeway. And really what we're trying to do is get those truckers to safe locations. I got a family waiting. You know, it's, uh, life, uh, it's your life's on the line, plus all the motorists around you, their life could be on the line. So it's, the sleep is very important. It's a very important part of your daily routine. This pilot is being closely watched by MDOT and other DOTs with the hope that the system can be implemented in other areas with high commercial vehicle traffic, giving drivers the information they need to make the safest choices possible. For more information on the truck parking information and management system, go to www.michigan.gov ITS.